Nathan Finkelberg was kind enough to write some uh, uh, comments on my book, Who Would Put Up With It. Major new voice, give me a break, the guy's a fisher, Nathan Finkelberg. And <laughs> just going to read you the note that Nathan wrote for uh, Who Would Put Up With It. Uh, I'll try to be quick. As Mr. Gardner's legal representative, I should perhaps mention that I advised him against the whole idea of writing this book and have cautioned him against doing so many times. What can you do? He's a goddamn reckless fool and doesn't listen to me except when he's in real trouble and by then it's usually too late. I don't know why I even keep him on and I wouldn't except nobody else will have him as a client. Besides, business is not so good and at least he's entertaining. I wish he would just pay his bills now and then. And Frank Grayling wrote a note too. Uh, Frank, Grayling, Frank Grayling and Nathan Finkelberg co-wrote this book. Some people believe me when I say that. Um, <laughs> Mr. Gardner is not anywhere near as black as some people, this is from Frank Graham, as some people make him out to be, but we are watching him closely. Residents should be advised not to allow him in their homes or leave any jewelry lying around. Material possessions have a habit of disappearing after his visits. Oh my God. We just don't know what he does with them, and he will end up in the big house one day if he's not careful. Until then, inform the public to lock their doors and use extra caution. We're not saying he's dangerous or ill-motivated or anything. We're just saying we're not too sure what he's up to. He is up to something, and it might be no good. Not is no good just might be no good. <laughs> Constables should take the usual precautions and use sound judgment when dealing with this sort of individual. Other than that, the book on him is the book you're holding. Proceed at your own risk. 